Hi everyone, today recipe is called Pad Cha Pla Muk or Pa Muk Pad Cha. Be, uh, the word is switching around but uh, it's the same kind of food. Um, the ingredients that you have to prepare is chili. Uh, this one is the paste that I crush it together. It's um, chili, shallot, and garlic. So I use two tablespoons of each, but you can cut down the number of chilies uh, if you don't like spicy. This one is uh, sweet basil, garlingel, um, that sliced garlingel, and young peppercorn slides um, squid 200 gram fit sauce oyster sauce uh, soy sauce and vegetable oil and some water in case it gets too okay first I add two tablespoon of vegetable oil And then we're going to fry the paste that we crushed. This part is going to be very smelly, so make sure you have uh, the fan to blow it away so you don't have to sneeze too much. Our family, we like spicy, so we add a lot of chili. Okay, the bad smell starts. <coughs> and then after that you add squid and cook it about two three minutes. When I say cooking the squid for two minutes, sometimes it takes uh, faster than that <laughs> if you use a uh, very high uh, heat. Uh, now I think my squid is done and then uh, next thing I'll add is um, garlic gel and young peppercorn. You can quickly mix the food. <laughs> the lower the heat, now we uh, will add the <coughs> fit sauce. One tablespoon. <coughs> and then soy sauce, one tablespoon. Now, oyster sauce, uh, three tablespoons. And then mix them well. Now, uh, use uh, maximum heat. And then add sweet basil. Turn off the fire. Now we finish. Okay, here's my plamuk pacha or pacha plamuk. I think because uh, it makes the sound like cha, 
when you add the chilies in the vegetable, hot vegetable oil. That's why they call it with this name. Um, as the result, I get it a little too salty, so I add about two, three tablespoons of water to make it less salty. And now uh, the taste is right. Okay, hope you like this recipe if you love spicy food. Goodbye for now and then I'll see you on the next video.